In this video, you will learn how to solve this poor division problem just using the laws of indices. No calculator needed. As this video for unfolds, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics content. Now let's get started. Now to simplify this without the use of calculator, I want you to note something that in the numerator, we have a power of 40, and in the denominator, we have a power of 20. Now, if you remember that the power of 40 can still be equal to 20 uh, plus 20, right? 20 plus 20 will give us 40. So that means we can simplify the powers of the numerator. That can give us 40 uh, to the power of 20 plus 20. And this will be divided by 20 to the power of 20. Now recall one law of indices. And what is that law of indices? That if you have a to the power of x plus y, that this can be equal to a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y. So if you have that, that will also affect the equation. The numerator will now become 40 to the power of 20 right multiply by 40 to the power of 20 right and this will be divided by 20 to the power of 20. now do you note something that they all have the same exponents now so what do we do from here we're going to separate this this is going to give us 40 to the power of 20 multiply by 40 to the power of 20 divided by 20 to the power of 20. I still have not changed anything. I've only simplified that expression. Now, the left hand side or the other side can give me this is 40 to the power of 20 multiplied by, remember the law of indices, this can give me 40 divided by 20. Because they have same power, this will be all to the power of 20. With this, I can see that my 20 here can give me 1. 20 will give me 2. So 2 divided by 1 is going to give me 2. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to have, uh, we are going to have uh, 40. Here, we'll have 40 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 20. Great. Now, having seen this, we have also arrived at something. We have an expression such that they have same powers or different days. Now, recall this. If you have a to the power of x multiplied by b to the power of x, that expression can be a multiplied by b all to the power of x. Now, if you look at that expression very well, that means this expression can be simplified to 40 multiplied by 2 and all to the power of 20. So, a final result is equal to 40 divided by 2 is 80 to the power of 20. So, that is the solution to this exponential equation. It's a bit pretty simple. But then it requires great logic. That means if we simplify this expression, uh, 40 to the power of 40 divided by 20 to the power of 20, we are simply going to have 80 to the power of 20. I know you did enjoy watching this short uh, maths power division problem solution. Don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.